Hello, everyone. <laughs> Crazy Facebook. <laughs> anyway, welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. Thanks so much for taking the time to join me today. If you're watching live on Facebook, pop a comment in and hopefully I will be able to see it this time. <laughs> So thank you so much. Today, well, let me first introduce myself. I am Lisa Warner, the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing and creator of Conscious Self-Healing, a six-week course to help you change the way you look at things so your body can change. So today I wanted to talk about moving from caterpillar to butterfly. We hear that all the time. In spiritual circles, people talk about, you know, we are changing from the caterpillar to the butterfly. And it's a beautiful analogy. And it's very apropos. But the thing I realize about this is that we've been the butterfly all along. The butterfly is the soul. It's the part of us that is free to fly completely unfettered. We can fly, we can do anything. That is who we are as the soul, as the non-physical beings that we are. We are free. We are infinite and we're unconditional love. Our natural state is freedom, ease, joy, health, wealth, it's all ours. But when we hop into these physical bodies, we start to identify our, as the physical body and our, the mind, we start getting programmed into this reality. As the soul, we are unconditional beings. We exist without any conditions placed upon us. We have been created simply to be and to experience. So when we come into these physical bodies, we, there are all these rules that we come into about how we should be and what we should be and what we should know and what we shouldn't know and when we should know it and when we shouldn't know it. The programming happens. It starts really innocuously, you know, our parents telling us what we should do and we, what we shouldn't do, what we can do and what we can't do. And obviously they're doing it in the mo for, <laughs> in most cases for, for our own good. Don't touch the hot stove. <laughs> like <laughs> That's a good thing. However, we start getting programmed by this reality. We start getting conditioned. The unconditional being that we are starts getting conditioned. And we start getting conditioned to believe that we are limited. We start believing that we are limited by our bodies, by our, by our social status, by our age, by, all, by our gender. All kinds of limitations get placed upon us. And those limitations do not feel good because for an unlimited being to be limited, doesn't feel good. So we fall from being the butterfly into believing that we are just the caterpillar crawling along the ground, doing the best we can, trying not to get eaten by the big things that are flying all around us. <laughs> so then when we find ourselves in the state of dis-ease, whether it's financial dis-ease or physical dis-ease or emotional relationship dis-ease, whatever the dis-ease is, 
That's what happens in the caterpillar state when we're just trying to survive our lives and keep ourselves safe from all of the predators. But this, my friends, this is the illusion. We are not, nor have we ever been the caterpillar. We have always been the butterfly that has believed in the limitations, that has be believed that we are only the physical body. When we're not the physical body at all, the physical body is just the, the suit that we are using to experience physicalness. It is the physical suit that we put on to play this virtual reality game we call humanity and life. We are not these bodies. We are not the caterpillar. We are the infinite, unlimited being in the body. The body is our vehicle. The body is designed to help us stay the butterfly. What? What do you mean? What are you talking about, Lisa? Our bodies are intelligent. Our bodies have our best interest at heart. Our bodies want to fly free. Our bodies want to be healthy and happy. So our bodies send us signals 24 seven that are always telling us if the thoughts that we are thinking are in alignment with the butterfly, or the caterpillar. Our bodies are trying to communicate with us. And the way they communicate isn't through words. Our bodies don't speak English, French, and German. Our bodies speak in sensations. Hot, cold, feeling good, feeling bad, feeling expansive and light feeling heavy and dense, feeling restricted. How restricted do you feel in your body? Your body simply feels the restriction because it's re it is reflecting the fact that you believe that you are restricted. The way that this inner guidance system is set up for each and every one of us, the body is our ticket home, it's our ticket to freedom. Paying attention to the sensations in our bodies is of utmost importance. But we have been taught that the sensations in our bodies mean that there's something wrong with our bodies. When our bodies feel pain, when our bodies feel discomfort, when we're experiencing vomiting or fevers or diarrhea or coughing and congestion, we are taught that those symptoms are wrongnesses. We are taught that those are sicknesses. However, those, those symptoms are how the body rebalances itself. They're actually part of the body's healing process. We have been conditioned to believe everything in reverse. We have been conditioned from the caterpillar perspective. We have had other caterpillars telling us that we are caterpillars. But none of us are caterpillars. The caterpillars that are telling us that we're caterpillars, they're butterflies too. But they have been conditioned to believe that they're caterpillars. We have all been conditioned by the external world to believe that we are the caterpillars. So now from the caterpillar stage, we have to uncondition ourselves. We have to go through the mental programming and release all of the restrictions. And the only way we can do that is to go inside. We have to quiet our mind. We have to tune inside our body because guess what? The butterfly 
is inside. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's not out there. The butterfly is inside. The freedom, the ease, the joy, the well being. Healthy, wealthy, wise, happy. They come from inside. The external world is not going to give these things to us. We have to source them from inside. So we have to take a look at ourselves. Are we being the butterfly or are we being the caterpillar? The caterpillar is limited to the ground, to crawling. All of the conditioning that is placed upon us is placed there to limit us, not on purpose. These limitations don't feel good. This is all part of the internal guidance system. It is all part of recognizing that we are unlimited being. Every single limitation feels bad. Every time we limit ourselves in any way, shape or form, every time we limit our body's ability to breathe by putting on a mask. Every time we limit our ability to hug and hold each other, every time we limit our, the places we can go, this is the caterpillar. But we are in the midst of the great awakening, the recognition that we are and always have been the butterfly. And when we recognize that we are the butterfly, we can fly free. We drop the shackles of all of these limiting beliefs from all of the mental conditioning. The mental conditioning is loud. And it's easy to listen to the mental conditioning that your health is at risk, that you can't go anywhere because if you go somewhere, you could kill somebody just by existing. Does that even make any sense? The conditioning tells us that microorganisms are more powerful than we are, that they are out to steal our health. Without microorganisms, our bodies wouldn't, wouldn't exist. The microorganisms live in our bodies. They need our bodies alive in order to exist. So does it make any sense at all that they're trying to kill us? They would be killing their host. Okay, this is caterpillar thinking. And there are a lot of people out there, there are a lot of predators flying around out there who are very, very loud. They are screeching, look, a bunch of caterpillars, food. And we're all going, oh my God, all the caterpillars go, oh my God, I gotta protect myself. Folks, if you are still listening to this, to my little rant today, <laughs> I'm doing this on purpose to help us see from a different perspective, to help us shake us out of our caterpillar complacency, to recognize that you are an unlimited being. You are designed for health. It's your blueprint. You can be talked out of your health. And there are a lot of voices trying to talk you out of your health. And if you're listening to those voices and you're allowing those voices to throw you off balance, you are allowing those voices to talk you out of your health. If 
We are to fly free as the butterfly. It's time to stop listening to the predator's voices and start listening to our bodies. Start listening to the voice of the soul, the butterfly within. The butterfly is free to fly. The butterfly is always in well being. The butterfly is always free. We are not limited by these bodies, but we can limit ourselves to these bodies. The body is your best friend. It is your direct pathway to butterfly freedom. We have been taught to run away from our pain, to run away from the discomfort, to run away from the emotions, the shame, the blame, the fear, the doubt, the guilt. We don't like those because they don't feel good in our bodies. But when we simply listen to our bodies, our bodies are saying, hey, you have caterpillar thinking going on. That's all it is. Shame, blame, doubt, fear, guilt is caterpillar thinking that has been imposed, it's been conditioned by the external world. Are you ready to let go of the conditioning? Are you ready to simply be the butterfly that you are? The brilliant, amazing, beautiful, healthy, wealthy, wise, happy butterfly that you are designed to be. Are you ready to stop being the caterpillar? Kinsey, hey, I see you today. Woohoo. <laughs> Kathy, yay. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining me today. You guys are the butterflies. You guys are shining your light. You guys see past the illusions of caterpillar thinking. I love you guys. I love that you are here in my community, part of my tribe, part of my family the butterfly family here. And every one of you who, all the other yous that are listening, you are all part of the butterfly family. We are here to shine our light, which means we are here to live happy, healthy, joyful, wonderful, happy, prosperous lives. That's the light of the butterfly. The fear, the doubt, the guilt, the shame, the blame, the dis-ease, the poverty, all of those things are the caterpillars, the caterpillar thinking that has been conditioned into our minds since birth. If you're ready to let go of the conditioning, I am here to help in any way that I can, whether that is simply having you ask questions in the Facebook group, I'm always happy to answer, whether you wanna hop on a, on a free 20 minute a uh, 30 minute discovery call, you know, to talk about what's going on and how maybe I can help you. Whether you are interested in coaching, whether you are interested in my conscious self healing course, conscious self healing round two is launching on March 15th, 2021. So if you are watching this between now and March 15th, if you would like in, please reach out to me. Send me an email, lisa at connectingyoutoyou.com. Go check out my website There's and check the Conscious Self Healing tab. You can read all about the course on my website, connectingyoutoyou.com. If you're not in my Facebook group, come on in and join us, Soul Sourced Healing on Facebook. Come join, part, be part of the tribe. If this resonates with you, please share this. Share if you are in the Facebook group, remember to share the YouTube video <laughs> link rather than the, the post in the group. 
So if you're uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment below, share, please. If this resonates, give me some likes. <laughs> give me some likes. Give me some shares. All right. I it this is the time. Our caterpillars minds are being tested to the max. And we can either let the external world convince us that we have to be more limited or we can break free from these shackles. We can break free from this external conditioning by the vultures that are waiting to eat us. And we can take our power back, the power of the light of love that we are, and we can set ourselves and our bodies free to fly, to create the life that we desire, the heaven on earth that is ours. All we have to do is claim it. We have to stop listening to the fears and we have to start listening to the soul. Tune in, people. Tune out. Everybody, the external world, the vultures want you to tune into them externally, tuning into their messages. If you tune into their messages, they are going to eat you, period. It is how this reality is set up. The caterpillars get eaten by the vultures. That is the chain of existence. Not good, bad, or indifferent. It's just the way it is. The vultures have to feed themselves. They feed on the smaller things. Like us, caterpillars. But we are not the caterpillars, nor are we the vultures. We are the butterflies. We are the bright, shining lights. We are the ones that add the lightness and the color to this beautiful, amazing world. Are you ready to live as the butterfly you are? If so, if there's any way that I can help you with that, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope this was helpful to you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your support. So please feel free to like and share this video. Until next week, I am Lisa Warner, the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing and the creator of Conscious Self-Healing. If you are ready to make yourself conscious of the healing that you have available 24 seven, please reach out. All right, until next week, create for yourselves a great week. Be the butterfly. <laughs> All right, be the butterfly, not the caterpillar. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, everybody. Till next week. Bye for now. <laughs>